stuff. So I'm in the drive thru. I'm not wearing my work uniform. I'm actually wearing a J. Cole shirt. Because uh, if you don't know J. Cole, my favorite artist. Now you know. Basically, I'm in the drive thru at Popeyes. Popeyes. Ah, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm talking about. While I was here, I decided, you know what? Let me go ahead and give a nice little review on these Eibach Sportline Springs. I've had the little springs for about two weeks now. So I think that's enough time to where I could do a review. I might be wrong. But anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and start first by saying drivability. Honestly, I didn't feel any change in the drivability. It pretty much feels the same. I mean... If you're not used to driving like a lowered car, even though the car is not like slammed or anything, you're, you're gonna feel it for the first couple of days. Even just getting into the car, you're, gonna, you're just gonna feel the car much lower. So that's one thing you gotta get used to. But uh, honestly, after the second, third day, you're already used to it. You, uh, me personally, at least, with my setup, which is 18 inches, uh, 18 by 9.5, I believe, I might be wrong. But I'm pretty sure it's 18 by uh, 9.5, the, the rim size that I'm running. 225 is in the front, 235 is in the rear. Uh, I don't rub, or, you know, I, I don't rub, I don't hit my fender. Unless, like, I go over, like, a dip or, like, the road is just the way the road is paved. I might, you know, like, bounce and hit my fender, but pretty much doesn't really happen that often. So there's not really much change that you're gonna feel like that. Um, you might here and there, like I said, scrape. That's honestly due to the fact that, you know, you're on, depending on how the, the road is, it might be uneven roads. So you're gonna go be driving and then your car's obviously bouncing. And if it bounces a little too much, then you'll scrape a little bit, but it's nothing too crazy to really worry about like that. And yeah. So drivability wise, pretty much the same. I like, honestly, it's pretty much the same. Over speed bumps, take them with precaution, you know. But you don't have to. You really don't have to angle unless it's like a really, really like high speed bump or a really deep dip. You don't really have to uh, angle if you don't want to. If you don't want to angle, you don't have to. Yeah. So you don't really have to angle because. It's not low enough for you to have to. You just have to take it, obviously, slower. Because if you do it quicker, or like, not quicker, but quick, you're gonna, you're gonna bump. I've had some times where I'm going over a speed bump and I do bump because I'm going a little too fast. But honestly, if you're just being careful, you, you don't have to worry about it that much. Uh, I have not driven with multiple people. I haven't even driven with an extra passenger other than my sister, but she weighs 60 pounds, so that I don't think that's going to count. But I really haven't driven with other people to really tell you if, you know, that affects it, so yeah, I can't really tell you about that. Pretty much, I'm not sure if they've settled yet. It's still the same to pretty much, it's like two fingers in front, but it's two tight fingers. And then in the rear, it's one tight finger. So yeah, you're not gonna feel much of a change. Bounciness, pretty much the same. Like it's honestly ride smooth. The same way you would drive stock, it's how you feel it with, with these new uh, sport lines. So if you guys aren't looking for anything extreme, slammed life, you know, I say go ahead and get the iBox sport lines. Sport lines are the lowest ones they offer. If you want them, go ahead. I feel like it's a good, uh, not a deal, but good bargain no, not bargain they're good pretty much what i'm trying to say like i said they drive pretty much like stock you know the, the drop isn't too too drastic to where you have to go over a speed bump at an angle look i'm about to take a speed bump right now and you just listen as you saw i didn't scrape nothing i mean it's not one of the worst speed bumps right now, but nonetheless, it's still a speed bump that I could post head on, it doesn't really affect me. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up, comment down below something that you like about your, your uh, springs or something you don't like, even. And
and subscribe and until next video guys i hope you enjoyed and peace